Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. So, I'm pretty sure if anyone uses Vegas out there, you've probably ran into a situation like this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there's nothing more frustrating when you've been editing for hours and then Vegas decides to go and crash on you. Uh, so, one thing I want to show you today is how to basically recover your autosave files. Now, sometimes if you do load back into Vegas Pro, as I'll show you here, it'll say, and coincidentally it's not saying it here, uh, but sometimes it will say, do you wish to load up a previous file or it didn't shut down correctly, do you wish to try and recover it? And often you may click that and when it loads up it's actually not as recent as you would like it to be, it, it's still lost quite a lot of your editing. Uh, so basically I'm going to show you how to recover a bit more of that, find the autosave files because Vegas does actually autosave your work. You may still lose a little bit of your work in the process but it's better than having to go back hours and hours if you haven't saved in ages. Now the first thing you're going to need to do before you actually go into this is you're going to make sure hidden folders are visible. So basically if you don't know a lot of folders on Windows can sometimes be hidden. Um, this is just to make sure you don't delete anything you're not supposed to. But in this case we need to access those files. So to ensure that we can see the hidden folders you want to search on your taskbar here. You want to type in folders and you should get this option show hidden files and folders in the control panel if you click on that you'll then get this little window here. And if you look under hidden files and folders, you should see either don't show hidden files or folders, and you should see show hidden files, folders, and drives. You wanna make sure it's on show, because of course if it's not, you're not gonna be able to see them. That's, that's how this works. So if it's not, if it is on this one, you wanna just click on the show hidden files, folders, and drives, click apply, click okay. Now to actually find the autosave files, you want to go into your file explorer here, and you want to go to this PC. Now I've got a few drives here, you basically want to go to where your user profiles are. Um, most cases it'll be in the C drive if you only have one drive, so check the C drive, you should see users. And then you want to find which user account you've got Vegas Pro downloaded on. Now I'm going to go into Robber here, it is meant to say Robert, but I kind of messed up when I was uh, setting up Windows. So yeah, that's that's stuck at Robber now. Uh, rip. But you want to go into that. Then look for app data, as you can see this folder is a bit more transparent, that just shows that it was a hidden folder originally. So if you double click on that, then go into local, you want to then search for Vegas Pro, so click the search button at the top, type in Vegas, and you can see Vegas Pro here, double click on that. And you want to click on the version of Vegas you're using, in this case I'm using Vegas Pro 16, so I've only got 16 here. So once you've opened it up, you can see we've got a few Vegas files here. Now, the best way to see which is the most recent, if you look at the date, you'll be able to tell there. Um, now, I don't actually have a autosave from today. That's because the crash I had done was a bit fake there, a bit forced. So let's just go with one of these for an example. I'm going to click on this one. It will open up here. And you can see that there's quite a lot edited on this video. I believe, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is this is the one where I was reacting to my old videos on my main channel. And uh, I had edited, I would have lost up to like here on the video. This was like two hours worth of work and it crashed on me. So if the autosave wasn't there, I would have been in massive, massive trouble. Um... But as you can see, it still isn't saved over the original file, so you will have to go file, save as, and then save it to where you originally had the file, just to make sure it's in the right place. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you can avoid some loss of your editing. You may still lose a little bit, but for the most part, you're going to gain back a lot more than you would have lost. Um, but that's pretty much it guys, so if you did find any bit of it helpful, leave a like down below, it's much appreciated. Comment anything if you want to see any sort of tutorial on Vegas Pro, leave some suggestions. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials. But that's going to be it for this video guys, so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.